Okay, so hey, what's up guys? I hope you all are doing well. So, Infinix, they have launched a new smartphones, which are three new smartphones in their very own new series, known as Zero X. This is me, your friend Captain. You all are already watching Kiaras and Yaras, and let's get started. Phoenix has launched the three new smartphones in a really different processor. MediaTek Helio G95, G means gaming processor, and MediaTek tells that. These are the three smartphones Infinix Zero Neo, which is a base variant, Infinix Zero X, which is a class variant, and the Infinix Zero X Pro, which is the high end variant. We're gonna talk about all of them and uh, which one should you go with. We're gonna also talk that. This is Infinix talked by Captain Diaz. Let's get going. Start off with the Infinix Zero X Neo. You'll be getting is the 6178 inches IPS LCD 90 hertz display. For the software, you'll be getting is the Android 11 out of the box with their very own UI, which is XOS and it is a version 7.6 talking about the battery you'll be getting is the 5000mAh lithium-polyton battery inside the box you'll be getting is the 18 watt fast charger adapter and the phone will be charging via to Type-C 2.0 the phone also has a fingerprint scanner which is a side mounted and it is good as for what you are getting The cameras you'll be getting is the triple camera setup on the rear side, which is a 48 megapixel plus 8 megapixel plus 2 megapixel. If you have to talk about the 48 megapixel, it's a wide sensor with the aperture of f1.8. The 8 megapixel is a periscope telephoto sensor. You'll be getting is the OIS support on it. What is OIS? You're gonna know in the iCard. Also, there is a support of 5x optical zoom. And the aperture is of f3.4. If you have to talk, talk about the third camera, which is a uh, expected camera, 2 megapixel f2.4 depth sensor. And if you have to talk about the video recording, you'll be getting is the 4K at 30 fps and 1080p at 60 fps. If you want the camera on the front side, you'll be getting is the 16 megapixel punch hole camera, which is of wide sensor. If you have to talk about the video recording, you'll be getting is the 1080p at 30 fps over here. That was the Infinix Zero X Neo. Now let's talk about the Infinix Zero X, the base guy. We're getting is the 6.78 inches AMOLED 120Hz display over here. the battery you'll be getting is the 4500 lithium molten battery inside the box you'll be getting is the 45 watt charging adapter the phone will be also charging over to type c 2.0 if you have to talk about the fingerprint scanner it is under display which is optical fingerprint scanner which is now really awesome compared to the side mounted it is good The camera you'll be getting is the triple camera setup here, also, which is of 64 megapixel plus 8 megapixel plus 8 megapixel. If you have to talk about the 64 megapixel, you'll be getting is the wide sensor support for the OIS, and also the aperture is f1.9. F the 8 megapixel is the same periscope telephoto with the same stuff from the Infinix Zero Neo. If you have to talk about the 8 megapixel, which is an ultra wide sensor f2.2, and if you have to talk about the video recording, you'll be getting the 4K at 30 FPS, 1080p at 30 FPS, and 60 FPS support. Also, that was the Infinix Zero X, and now let's talk about the Pro, the big guy. The Infinix Zero X Pro actually has only one change, which is off camera. Instead of the 64 and 48, which you got on the different side. You will be getting is the 108 megapixel sensor with the support of OIS and the aperture is of f1.8, the 8 megapixel and the 8 megapixel periscope and ultrawide both are the same sensor. Even the support for the video recording which is also of 4K at 30 fps and the display. So now let's talk about the processor. The these three phones will be getting is the same processor which is 
MediaTek Helio G95, which is a 12 nm processor. If you have to talk about the GPU, we're getting is a Mali G76. If you have to talk about the storage and RAM, you'll be getting the 8 gigs of RAM plus 128 GB internal storage. Talking about the storage type, you'll be getting the UFS 2.2. This is a support for the three of the smartphones. The three smartphones will be having this support. If you have to talk about the Zero X Pro, you'll be getting the one another variant. Also, 8 GB RAM plus 256 GB internal storage, which is again a great thing. Have to talk about the colors the infinix zero x neo will be having three colors which is a stray silver nebula black and the bahamas blue if you have to talk about the zero x which is the base, basic guy you'll be getting is the two colors stray silver and the blue color if you have to talk about the pro you got the three colors over here also which is silver which is stray silver nebula black and a different kind of color which is I don't know but I want to say touching brown but actually it's a brownish color talking about the Infinix Zero X series I personally was amazed when I look at this series and they are just nice in everything talking from the cameras and everything but the one thing is that one price gonna be coming with this smartphone because we can expect that the 108 megapixel sensors are around 20 to 20 25 ish uh, thousand in india and you can find 5g support in also them so this is not a 5g smartphone first you need to know that because helio g95 isn't capable of the 5g but the helio g95 is really nice for the gaming as per I told you, G means gaming. And uh, if I have to talk about the 120Hz AMOLED and the G95, then it is a crisp guy. But for that, 0X and 0X Pro are there. So 0X Neo might be a budget guy. And Infinix is mostly known for the effective price range. Make sure you know that. So what price gonna be there i don't know if it would be there i'll be mentioning in the comments and pinning it so make sure you stay tuned over here by pressing the bell icon so infinix 0x pro which is one of the highest variant in the 0x series by the way 108 megapixel 120 hertz amoled 4500 mh lithium and battery g95 everything is just a bit of what we needed but the one thing it's not a 5G phone. So if you are going to get a 5G phone, then this is not a 5G phone. Firstly, you know that. If you are going to get a gaming type of phone, then this is gonna be a good device. So it's up to you what you need, as I told you. So if I have to talk about the Zero X Neo, it it's gonna be a really in the budget section as for me because G95, good gaming processor, 90 hertz a smooth display light right now and 48 megapixel sensor which is good the battery is 5000 mAh which is again for a complete whole day as per your usage it might vary so it is nice phone Infinix 0x gonna be a really nice but the price hasn't came up to us so if it gonna be nice then the cameras are nice 64 megapixel and the 120 hertz AMOLED is also there which is really good so the phones are awesome in its own way i want to say also this three of the smartphones gonna be having the headphone jack which is really nice and we need it so that's all what do you think about the infinix zero x series let me know in the comment section down below by the way liking also gonna be appreciating our work sharing this videos with your friends and family gonna be a helpful to them also so make sure you do it and if you are into a tech guy and wants to know everything about it then subscribe it's gonna be a helpful to you so this is your friend drs you all were watching krs and drs i'll catch you in the next video stay safe stay connected with us peace out